Welcome to the new episode of Roll Die for Adventure. Can I ask you a question before we begin? Have you ever wanted to have your own podcast? If so, we would like to recommend Podbean. We have been using it for the last three years and we love it. It's easy to use and the customer support is amazing. Just go to podbean.com and enter the code hauntedlog at checkout and get your first month of podcasting for free. That's podbean.com code hauntedlog. Now on to the show. Last time, the party traveled to the Dragon Barrow after a delightful night with the centaur, Bill McCracken. <laughs> Inside the barrow, Apeshia fell into a pit trap with rusty swords after chasing a will-o'-wisp. Once she was out, they made their way down one of the corridors and found the skeletal remains of a horse, its bones magically stitched together, and they are currently staring at one another, the horse making no moves to attack. So, after talking to this horse a bit... Did the horse talk back? No, it stared with its hollow skull eyes. I was going to say, Mr. Head! But Apeshia approaches it and gets on the horse's saddle. And the horse takes off with Apeshia. Runs out of the barrow. Runs out? Drag. Runs out. It didn't look violent. It just looked like the horse was like, yay, let's go for a ride. So she calls back, I'm fine, find the sword. Bummer. She was a pretty horrible rogue anyway. (laughs) That's my ride. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) So you guys are in the southern tunnel where the skeletal horse was. You can go back to the north through the original tunnel you came down. Or you also see a tunnel to the east. It's incredibly narrow, dug out of the earth. Am I going to be able to fit through the hole? It's two feet wide. All right. You came down the two foot wide stairwell. That's true. All right. What order are we going in? Of course I'm going first. Tank. I'm going to go last, just Blair in the bagpipes. Anybody who can hear me gets a plus six. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if your rogue ran straight into the sword pit, I think you're fine. <laughs> right. Sheldor, I need a perception check, please. There needs to be a one-man band bard. With the Thir- on his back. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Symbols on his knees. <laughs> Harmonica. <laughs> yep. Thirteen. As you're walking, you are mid-step, and you stop, because you realize under the earth, you can see a little bit of it scraped away. There's a pressure plate. Holt! Where's Apeshia? We need her to walk across this. (laughs) I thought she found the only trap that was in here. Well, she found the trap in that hallway. Oh. I know, I think I said only trap. Okay, so... How wide is the pressure plate? It's buried in the earth. Do you want to carefully try to uncover it? Gently. Something puff Howie doesn't know how to do. Roll. Puff and puff and blow blow off the dust. Roll for gentle. <laughs> do uh Gently. Gently. Dex. <laughs> Seventeen. There is a moment where you think that you pushed on it and you stop and pause. However, you are able to uncover it's five foot long. In a two foot wide tunnel? Five foot long. So he probably would have had to use like some sort of tool to get to the other side of it, obviously. Otherwise, he'd be stepping on it. But you clear off enough. To see that it's a five foot long pressure plate. Hey, what's the hold up up there? Let's go. I don't like it back here. <laughs> so I'm seven foot tall. I think I got a five foot walking bird. <laughs> oh boy. Jump. I'm going to jump. How high is the ceiling though? Six Are foot. Are you walking the Eight shoulders? Feet. Eight feet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the turtle Sideways or should get in the downward sure dog position facing. over the trap, and we'll just crawl over it. Why not? You're strong, right? How are you yeah. going to get over it, though? You've got a metric butt ton of hit points. Just take the trap. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> All right, I take the trap. So everybody crawls over Fireball. you. Fireball. <laughs> How okay. long are you going to wait to take the trap? At what point are you going to take that trap, baby? Well, long enough for them to get clear. Remember, anticipation is part of the fun. You going to let them clear the tunnel? Yeah. As soon as you lower your weight onto this pressure plate... You're all welcome. The walls of the tunnel collapse and bury you. You are blinded and restrained. You have cover from all attacks, and you begin to suffocate after you run out of breath. Not if I hide in my shell. Really? That allows you not to suffocate? No, but <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thought. What's your con? Plus three. You guys clear the tunnel and realize it collapsed behind you, and you do not see shell door anywhere. Shell door! So you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus your con modifier. So you can hold it for four minutes. After you run out of air, you can survive for a number of rounds equal to your con modifier. Then you drop to zero. So I've got three rounds. Pretty much, yeah. And I've got a shit metric shit ton well, of rocks on me. Do you have a plus two or a plus three? Four. You have a plus four? For constitution? Yeah. No, three. Okay, yeah, so four rounds total for the first. You can hold your breath. What do you guys want to do? Power dig. Keep going. <laughs> Need our tank. Do we? Yes. Huh. Alright, Rumpy, as you're power hey, digging. I'm pretty sure it's caved in. You want to head back out? That's what I'm thinking it's... about. Yeah. Hey, you're in my way. This is what That's happens it. with tight tunnels. You get stuck sometimes. <laughs> No, no, you guys came out into another realm. Oh, I'm no, I'm just saying the tight tunnel, that's usually what happens sometimes. Wait, how do we The tunnel went through the earth to the next room. So basically, Sheldor let you guys clear the dug tunnel and then laid on the pressure plate. You're welcome. How big are you? Seven foot. Why don't you just climb around the wall? Like, Shel- Sheldor's like Jean Claude Van Damme and <laughs> Cyborg. Sheldor's not very bright. Well, neither am I. Okay, so it is going to take you the full four rounds because each round you dig five feet. So just as Sheldor is running out of air <gasps> and starts to see stars, I'm coming. Your hand hits him <sighs> as you're digging. Mama, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> That reminds me of a girl, too. (laughs) She said, Mama, I'm coming? Yeah, it's weird. She was a very weird girl. Daddy. Daddy. No, she said, Mom. I don't know why. (laughs) (laughs) She made that noise, too. Sheldor, (laughs) Rumpy just saved you. You're the best, Rumpy! I tried. Are you done yet? Uh, Can we go? Jeez. It, uh, it, it takes me a while uh, to finish. Why don't we yeah, go ahead while they're doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading off. Oh, it's just a room. Are there yeah. any exits in the room? When you walk in to the south, there are two small alcoves dug into the walls, each containing a sarcophagus. While he's digging them out, I'm like, I'll take that one. I'll take the other one. All right. Uh, pick a sarcophagus and search. Once I get out, how brutalized am I? You made it. You have to catch your breath, but you're okay. fine. All right. Cool. Thanks, Rumpy! You're welcome. You're my boy, Rumpy! You're one good friend. Somebody who actually cares about me. So, who opens first? You're welcome, Your Majesty. And he used the... Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got an 11 <laughs> He used the deference, too. Search the first one? I got a 19 for the other one. I'm really looking for things to shove up my butt. <laughs> I need deck saving throws from that. everybody. It's what happens after like five minutes of just being like... Even Sheldor and I? Yeah. Seven. Oh, fuck. Fifteen. And 
Booth, I got seven. Sorry, I was thinking about putting things in my butt. What are seven. we doing? What, 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 Dex check. Dex, Dex check. check. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is going to be good. Twelve. Why couldn't it be a strength check? <laughs> Just wait for it. It's going to be good. Uh-oh. <laughs> you have a negative one, Dex? Ah, why? The way he's smiling, I think uh-huh. it is a negative. How can you perform with the minute the centaur if you have a negative one Dex? I have a plus six Dex. How do you have a plus six? It only goes to five. I got an eight. I rolled a two. An eight? Sometimes you just can't perform as well. All right. Can I do a performance (laughs) check instead? He's got performance anxiety. Well, I don't have enough dice out. Oh, crap. (laughs) So as you guys fling these tombs open, a corrosive dust just juts out into this room. Oh, I wasn't breathing. That is 11 acid damage, and Sheldor, you'll take six of that. And I don't know if it. anybody needs this to know this, but yeah, I need to rest sometime soon. <laughs> you play bagpipes. I'm down to three. You're fine. <laughs> Are you bleeding? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Profusely. Out of his anus. Always. Out, but out, this out. is <laughs> every orifice. This is everything. Are you bleeding? No. Open sick call. That's all that's in this room. They were false sarcophagi. That were a trap. So you can leave to the north. Who's going first? I'm going to heal myself first. Would it be safe to take a rest in this room? It doesn't really say anything about having to take multiple saves on that corrosive dust. So I would assume that it dissipates rather quickly. So if you'd like to take a rest in here, you can. Why don't we take a rest to save the candy ass bard? We're fine. Best level five bar you'll ever meet. <laughs> yeah. You're taking a long rest or a short rest? How long much, or how small? How many hit points are you down, man? All of them? Oh, about 35. Because the tank isn't taking any damage, but I have hey, all day. what level day. are we supposed to be? Five? Five. five? You left the tank to die. Yeah. <laughs> you did. That's okay. I didn't think I was going to get 11 points of damage from opening a box. And I rolled shitty. Most boxes don't give you damage. <laughs> Well, the right ones Are you will. sure? <laughs> Rethink your statement. <laughs> Mental damage, not physical. Still. So I've seen a lot of bad boxes, and this is the worst box I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> long or short, boys? You know, if we're going to rest, let's rest long. Let's rest long, then. That's the way to go. Is anyone keeping watch? I'll keep watch. As everyone's resting, Sheldor sees every now and again a glowing will-o'-wisp kind of look around the corner and, and run back off. Would it run or float off? Float off. Looks like it's running away. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to it. <laughs> I'm going to sit here. It just looks like it's checking in on ya. That is all. You guys wake up fully restored. Yay, I felt that damage from the sixth damage I took. I feel refreshed. Yeah, you you get it too, even though you took the watch. It's fine. I can keep it at 94. No, you're fine. All right, you can go to the north, which then curves off to the west. It looks like you guys are heading back to that initial circle you came down into. It is a narrow hallway Great. to the west. Nice. It has a little curve in it that you guys love so much. And then it goes north and south. I like to go down. (laughs) As you go down, it turns back off to the west and you see another will-o'-wisp. It smells like shit in here. Fly away from you. We must be going the right way. There's a will-o'-wisp. You're back in the circle. You have not been to the north or the west yet. Oh, Jesus. It's one of those again. I gotta put my hand on the the (laughs) left side of the wall. Which way are we going? North? Literally, if you can see the map, it's a circle, Mm -hmm. and then you have a hallway each way. Let's go north. Right, Sheldon. I'm going west. You're gonna split the party? I'll go with the bard. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) Okay. Makes it harder on Shannon. I was going with (laughs) Sheldon. Let's go with the Bard and Vutha. Howie and Vutha. Who's going first? 
Well, you said it, so yeah, let's, I'll go first. Okay. As you go into this hallway that's zigging and zagging, you too see a will-o'-wisp kind of floating around towards the end of the hall before you hit the room. Is it a good thing? Do I know? I wouldn't know because I haven't been hanging out with you guys very much. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cast command on it. What does that do? I'm going to speak a one-word command to a creature that I can see within range. It must succeed a wisdom saving throw or follow my command. God damn it. Not is the target undead? <laughs> you guys I don't hear remember the, if a will-o'-wisp is undead or not. If you guys hear the, uh, the bagpipes go off, then that means I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom? 15 of wisdom saver, 15. Unless it's undead. But I can't remember if a wisp is undead. It's undead. It is? Yeah. Oh, then nothing happens. So it's just floating in front of the last tile. Be gone! And it just ignores me. Yeah. If you approach it, it'll probably go away. What's in here? From what you can see, you have a long hallway. There's two more sarcophagi to the north. And then you have little tunnels that go south. One for you, one for me. Let's check for traps this time. What are you checking for traps? The sarcophagus. Okay. I'm just opening mine. So, Howie, as you start to walk into this room, the floor gives way underneath you, and you fall into a pit of swords. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh no, I got impaled. Oh no. I suppose we gotta rest again. <laughs> so, first, you're getting four bludgeoning damage. You just wanna rest down there? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, let me just rest down here. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the right dice. But four bludgeoning damage, you were impaled by one sword. Where? <laughs> for six piercing damage. <laughs> right in your anus. I slipped my arm <laughs> Probably somewhere in your ass. Or your foot. I just fell down doing the splits. Like, hey! <laughs> So if, 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 if you got it impaled in the ass, then it probably didn't do any damage. It was, <laughs> it's it's like an open ass space. It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. But for some reason, I envision how he's ass super bony. I'm gonna, I'm I don't gonna, know why. I'm going to go holes like this big. right up to the edge of the pit. And I'm going to bend over. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at you and I'm like, how are you feeling about Umberly the Sea Goddess right about now? <laughs> Oh, I kind of like it right now. <laughs> All right. I'll throw my hand down yeah. and try to help you back up. All right, thanks. <laughs> and the hand slips and he falls back down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so as you crawl out of the pit on the other side, who wants the east and who wants the west? Your choice. Sure, I'll go west. Okay, you're going to check You fall down traps. another pit. Huh? Do you want to check the sure. sarcophagi- sarcophagus for traps? Nine. It looks fine. All right. Totally fine. Let's open that shit. I'm opening mine too. (laughs) They get impaled by swords. (laughs) So Howie opens a sarcophagus, and inside is the body, and on his body is a loot of illusions. (gasps) This is a dead bard that helped slay the dragon years ago. I'm taking that. Yeah. Loot of a loot. And then he's going to have his way with the the corpse. That's what I was just thinking. Lutha. Parts of it. Your sarcophagus is empty. Son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And there's tunnels behind both of you. And if you turn around, you see two more sarcophagus. Sarcophagi. I'm hauling ass over to one. Which one? West or east? East. You know, just fling it open. Yeah. It's empty! God damn it! <laughs> Howie, did you go to the other one? Yep. You open yours, and inside is the body of a wizard, and around his neck is a necklace of fireballs. Sweet. Don't worry, I have plans for more treasure later. <laughs> it is it a necklace of fireballs? Necklace of balls. Necklace of fireballs. We're gonna roll on the trinket table where everything is garbage. I have a, a <laughs> like a vision in my head. It's like truck nuts, <laughs> but they're on fire. They got sure. fire. They got flames around them. Yep. It's a very magical piece. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that takes us back to Sheldor and Rumplemans. 
Who went north? Who's going first? I'll go first. So as you go north down this tunnel towards the end before you would enter the room, you see a will-o'-wisp. You gonna approach it? Sure. As you approach, it flies away. And now you have a clear path to the room. The northern room. I'm gonna go in the room. Okay, one minute. <laughs> what did I do? Did I not do what you I was supposed to? fall into a pit of swords. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I say check for traps? <laughs> so initially you get four bludgeoning damage. Uh oh. You impale yourself on two swords, which causes six piercing damage. I'm gonna climb out of the fucking hole. <laughs> I'm gonna unimpale myself and crawl up the fucking hole. Every single pit had a will o' wisp over it. You think I would have learned? Eh. By watching two fucking people go down goddamn fucking Well, holes. in all fairness, you didn't watch them. Because as they were going into the sarcophagus room, you were going north. I so. did see, I did see, uh... Pescia? A Pescia. So I should have, you know, my dumb ass should have learned. <laughs> but I'm a barbarian with no intelligence, so... I'm a bard with no intelligence. <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> dumb musician? <laughs> <laughs> Sheldor and Rumpy walk into this room. On either side of this alcove are two sarcophagi. To the north, there are the bones of the dragon as Draca embedded into the walls. The dragon's skull rests upon the floor and the long sword is set atop it. I'm gonna go attempt to get the sword. Check for traps. I'm gonna check for traps and then attempt to get the sword. Roll check for traps. That... Is a motherfucking crit. Nice. <laughs> Fail. It's just sitting there. Can do you have Arcana? On a twenty, I'll give it to you. It does seem a little weird, like the feeling is a little off, but the sword is just sitting there. I pick up the sword. As you pick the sword up, an invisible stalker appears. As this thing appears, it's going to automatically get a hit on you. Okay. That's a 16 to hit. Okay, so as you take this sword, you feel something whoosh by you, like a, a rush of air, but it does not hit you. Woo! Did you fart? No. All right. I'm just going to try again. That's a 20 to hit. What did you roll the first time? Nothing. Shit. <laughs> In other words, advantage. Yeah. Alright. So as you're celebrating getting this sword, you take a hit to the chest so hard, that is 15 bludgeoning damage, Mm -hmm. and you kind of fall down to the floor. You don't see anything? Should we roll initiative? How am I going to roll initiative against something I can't see? Figure it out. Roll perception and we can go from there. My brain wheels are spinning a little bit. <laughs> it's they're they're squeaking. It's going slow. Pick up some dust. Nine. Like Kevin Garnett. What's a shit fuck? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing awesome. <laughs> Twelve for this guy. Rumpy, you see your friend after he takes the sword off of the dragon skull. Get knocked on his ass, and you can tell the wind got knocked out of him. So you're standing there trying to figure out what the hell's going on. When you feel a whoosh of air go right next to your head. So you know something's there, he missed you. But you don't know what. Sheldor, you're up. This is a very small room. So if you got nothing else, I can have you swing at disadvantage. Okay. 16. That hits. You feel contact with something. That's nine points of damage. Are you using the the dragon sword? Yes. I should have stated that. I'm going to use the dragon sword. (laughs) What is this? Well, I figured that's what you were using since since you had picked it up. What's the damage on that? 
You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. It's a magic weapon. Mm -hmm. When you hit a dragon with this weapon, the dragon takes an extra 3d6 damage of the weapon's type. So if we rewind it, that'd be 10 points of damage. Okay. Now we're guaranteed Mm -hmm. never to find a dragon. (laughs) Well, it is called the Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. I'm just saying. That's a a ruse. We're never going to find it. So, Rumpy, you see Sheldor swinging this new sword around, and it actually stops midair as it comes into contact with something invisible. You're up. All right, well, since I saw that, first action is... Oh, I get two attacks, too. Don't I get two attacks? Oh, I'm sorry. Both? Another one at advan- disadvantage? Or... Uh, because since I know you, you literally the vicinity. just hit it... This time I'll give you a regular roll. We'll say you're like, swing, swing. Crit. Ooh, nice! So that's... What did we say crit was? It was 12. 12 plus your whatever you rolled. Plus I think I was allowing proficiency. I don't know. Let's god mode this shit. (laughs) (laughs) 18 points of damage. Nice. So when that connects, you hear this ghostly wail come from the the clouds, the room, it echoes in here. Now Rumpy's up. Alright. Can I do like a quick action to kick up a bunch of dust? Yeah, we'll put that in your movement. I mean, it's a tiny ass room, so... So, and then I'm going to see where the dust seems to be forming a shape. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say it works. (laughs) Nice. Alright. It said invisible. It didn't say that it... Didn't substance. have a body, yeah. <laughs> well, it's an elemental. It might not have a body. But fuck it. You can see the air kind of moving around a little different where you suspect it to be. So I'll let you have normal hits on that. No disadvantage. 17 to hit? Yes. Are you guys still... Are you rushing in here? Are you just letting all... You do hear all... I mean, you would hear all this. Bagpipes? Oh. <laughs> You guys have a soundtrack to your fight right now. Oh, yeah, and if you hear me, you get inspiration. But plus one D6, I think. Oh, hey, I said you hear him. You did. Add that so inspiration. Now I, can, I can add the inspiration on the next round. Yep. 21 points of damage. Wait. Here is your weapon magical? Okay. It does nothing! All right, you make contact. Okay. Eighteen to hit. Yep. Twenty-two points of damage. Okay. Back to the stalker thing. You're odd, I, and you're even. Well, I know, <laughs> I know who's get. Odd. I know who's getting hit. <laughs> Sheldor. Yep. They just like you so much. You're the tank. I know. Well, that's not. Good. It. You must have got dirt in his eyes. Fucking right. That's a nine to hit. Nope. That's a twenty-one to hit. Uh, fuck are you. <laughs> nine bludgeoning to Sheldor. And Sheldor, you can retaliate. Like a. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my bonus attack to go into a rage. And I'm going to attack it with the Dragon Slayer. Okay. 25 to hit. You hit him really hard. One damage. <laughs> That's kind of lame. <laughs> All this adding. 11 points of damage. Okay, and your next one? 15 to hit. Yes. 14 points of damage. Jesus. Rumpy! We'll say with all this scuffling around, there's now just kind of dirt in the air. I mean, it's an elemental, so I always imagine them as kind of wispy. You can you can see it. For the most part. She's lucky I forgot to add the plus one to my damage and my attack rolls. <laughs> Twelve to hit. Nope, that actually misses. You have some dirt in your eye on yeah, that one. Yeah. Fourteen to hit? Yep. 23 points of damage. And not dead yet. This thing's up. 
Sheldor. Sheldor. <laughs> That's a twenty-five. Ouch. Ten bludgeoning. We get inspiration from that. Would the enemy get uninspire, which means a, a minus that would a negative be only six? if it doesn't like bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should get the bonus just like anybody else. If it's a Scottish invisible stalker, invisible Eight. mech stalker, eighteen to hit. Yes. Eleven more bludgeoning. Sheldor, it's your turn. That was quite a bit of damage, but you can kind of feel that this thing's not hitting quite as hard. It's kind of an last-ditch effort. Well, it's a good thing when I'm in a rage, I have resistance to bludgeoning damage. Ooh. <laughs> Him's very, very sneaky over there. I'm going to attack it again with the dragon sword. You dragon the sword? <laughs> <laughs> My sword drags. <laughs> This sword never drags from what we hear. <laughs> Depends on what position. <laughs> 21 to hit. Yes. 11, carry the 2. Divide by the hypotenuse of Z. 15. The radius then... of the diameter of the circle. That's 20 points of damage. That's high. You fucking doing so... algebra over there? <laughs> As your sword. No, that's your wife. <laughs> As your sword comes down, you feel some resistance of you hitting something, but the sword just carries on through. I like that feeling. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like my hand gestures. And I stab it. I'm and stabbing you it. Stand there for a minute, and all seems calm except for these raging ass bagpipes in the background. I start dancing a jig. <laughs> Because hopefully he plays a good dirge on his bagpipes. Now you have the sword. There's two sarcophagi in here. I'm going to check one of the sarcophagi. I want to check one of the sarcophagi. For traps. You don't know they're trapped. 16. For a trap? Yeah. They seem normal. Okay. They're normal. And I'll go ahead and open the one that's on the left. As you open this, you see... Lady, what's her? Madonna. Lady Parts. <laughs> Tanamir Alagondar. And. What the fuck was that? <laughs> wasn't me. Lady Mir Alagondar. She, she's the Dragon Slayer. You see the Dragon Slayer. Her armor's rusty. There's really nothing. Her, her thing of note was a sword. And if you open the other one, it's her squire. Nothing in there. Is there a squire. rusty trombone in there? We <laughs> <laughs> have to conjure one. Yeah, I need a rusty trombone. So Sheldor, give me that trombone. And Rumpy, I want someone to inspect the dragon skull. I was, I, I, was, I will do it. Don't give them hints. Come on, I was going to anyway. Who investigated it? I will. What'd you roll? Is that an investigation roll or a perception roll? Whichever one's better for you. However you like it. I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> then do the harder one. 20. <laughs> eh, 21. <laughs> Underneath the skull, you can see uh, the jaw is kind of obscuring a treasure hoard. Hmm, me uh -huh. thinks we want the treasure. Give me a d10, please, Sheldor. I'm going to get something lame. <laughs> Five. And a 100. 30. You got an 8th level spell scroll. Something I can't use. <laughs> Rumpy, you notice this uh, horde he's digging in. You can roll as well. 10. 86. You got an own, an own stone. Ion stone? Greater absorption. Yeah, buddy. For so, that soggy biscuit. When it's that time of the month, you're set. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> it absorbs! Michelle Dor. <laughs> Just don't get in your eye, it stings. <laughs> Roll one more time for me. Three. Seventy-four. Seventy-four. Elixir of health. You guys um, got some how much, shit. How much does that help? I don't know. Google Nothing. it. <laughs> Alright, one more time, Rumpy, since they're not... 
They're too busy doing whatever the fuck. I smell doing. treasure. Ten. Okay. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna go find them. So it cures any disease afflicting you, and it removes the blinded, deafened, paralyzed, and poisoned conditions. Right. I'm sorry. You said ten. Ten, and then twenty-seven. It's another iron stone of a greater absorption. Twenty-seven. You got the tampon of absorption. The ring of invisibility. Whoa! So Howie does not hear the scuffle of a fight anymore, and he comes in to see you guys digging in this dragon horde. So what do you want, new guy? Give me two rolls on that. Howie. That did absolutely jack and shit. I did a lot, man. You don't even know. He poisoned I you. I jacked and he- shit. He fucking left me to die underneath the rubble. You I got a. You got out. Hard. Yeah. See, that's what happened. All right. So, uh, I got a nine. And a 97. This is the tampon of absorption. This is this is the second campaign I've got an invisibility item. <laughs> studded leather of resistance. Mm. You like studded leather, right? Mm-hmm. It sounds like bondage equipment there, Howie. <laughs> resistance. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure about the resistance part. <laughs> All right, so, there will uh, be no resistance. <laughs> a six and a one. You got a plus one weapon. You can decide if it's a weapon you can gift to help someone else or if it's one you want to keep. Did you look up that loot? No, but I will. Uh, You know, I'm not a big fighter. I'm more of a... He's a lover, not a fighter. (laughs) Solo lover. Here, you guys take... He's a sodomier. A sodomier, not a... There's nothing wrong with sodomy, dude. Oh, a fighter. Well, you just got a magic plus one sword, so it'd be something you can use. I don't know if I want to give it to him, though. Uh, (laughs) You know, I haven't seen him do anything. Wow. Worthwhile. Mate. Uh, Yeah, he's killed more people people than you. What do you give me for? Ten dollars? Ten? Ten coin? Ten? Ten gold? Five gold, three gold, two you, gold, one gold. <laughs> you can, 99 silver. Copper. Copper piece. You can create an <laughs> illusion within 15 feet because you are a bard. Nice. Yeah, I can take it. Oh, my God. I don't care. All right. So, plus one longbow. I knew this uh, old bard. He had this uh, sword of the demon slayer. Maybe you should have that. No, a plus one oh. weapon. Not it's, any it's, weapon. It's a vorpal sword. <laughs> Kill a demon sword. Here's a vorpal sword. Here comes a dragon. Boop, it's dead. It's Only done. on demons, not <laughs> plus, plus, plus five holy avenger. Puta, are you still in the sarcophagus room? No, I followed Yeah, he followed oh, me. I'm, you not gonna, wanna, I'm not going to hang around anywhere on my own. You want to make two rolls into this treasure hoard? Sure. A two, 33. Plus one ammunition. So I don't know if you shoot things, but he does. So do I. So do I. You shoot things in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with a plus one, I can Five. get it really good. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. I finished 85. on you. Five and 85. A ninth level spell scroll. Whatever spell you want. Was it Comet Fall? Yeah, I'd do that one. Meteor? <laughs> Meteor shower. That might be too much. I don't think the Dragon Sword said you had to attune to it. Doesn't matter. We overwrote those rules. The loot, and I think a couple other magical items you have to attune. So, do you guys want to take. Oh, I'm attuning to it right one now. Long, <laughs> one long rest. That's good. You arrived there in the morning. You did all that shit, then took a long rest. We'll say it's the next morning. You exit the burrow one by one, the sunlight burning your eyes as you emerge from this darkness. (laughs) You hear a loud screech in the sky. The sun is suddenly blotted out while you see the young white dragon cryovane. Damn, that's a big bitch. He's diving from the sky like a falcon, talons outstretched, aiming for the mules attached to your cart. Why he's traveled so far from Ice Spire Peak is unknown, but would appear he has found his next meal. Oh, there goes Cass. <laughs> Cass the Mule? <laughs> we named Cass the Mule in the first, like, 
season two. <laughs> <laughs> run, mule, run! You guys are about 70 feet away from this cart. He's going to watch him? Yeah, I want to see what happens. Yeah, I want to watch like it looks amazing. Mules are cheap, man. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I will make a cheap. donation to PETA when we get hate. <laughs> so he dives and he grabs one of your mules. And because they're attached to the cart, the cart goes with it. There goes our shit. The other mule goes with it. Is it a covered cart? Because it'll just fall out the back, right? No. It's not covered. No. All right, it just falls out the back. You're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And it's there goes inc- a Pesha. incredibly heavy, so he actually dro- drops it from... Oh, Jesus. No, Pesha was off riding the bone horse. That's right. My poor bone horse. The bone horse. <laughs> it gets about 40 feet in the sky and loses grip. <laughs> so you're watching your cart and your two mules. It's just like a train wreck. Plummet. <laughs> no god. And about I can't look away. <laughs> Ten feet from you, they splat into the ground. Mule parts splattering. I vomit. <laughs> <laughs> and he descends ten feet from you to start chomping on these mules. I think that's free attacks. I've never heard a mule scream before, but it kind of turned me on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rush it. I'll give you that first attack since he's busy eating. Pull out my bagpipes and I start playing too. 28. Everybody gets bardic inspiration. Hold on. 32 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, an ability called Jack of All Trades, and I just call that Jack Off of All Trades. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, buddy. All right, that's all. Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Jack so Off of All Trades. did we say it was an extra 3d6 damage? Oh, yeah. Yep, you get your original damage plus 3d6. 25 points of damage. I'm going to attack it again, or can I? I can do my second attack, right? With a surprise attack? Or do we have to roll initiative now? We probably have to roll initiative yeah, now. You normally let's with a, let, it's, it's only one attack. Let's let everyone get one attack in. Uh, I was just wondering. And then we'll roll initiative. Okay. So, Rumpy. 28 to hit. Yeah. 20 points of damage. Okay. She's just going to add 100 every time we hit it. Anyone else? Yeah, why not? All right, here we go. Uh-oh. 25 to hit. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Oh, five damage. <laughs> <laughs> you looked really good doing it, though. I looked great. You're like Michael Bay. All oh, flash, no substance. <laughs> Futha, you went in on this? I'm not getting into melee combat with a dragon, no. <laughs> okay, let's roll initiative. Six. Nice. Seventeen. Oh, the fucking one. Did you use the inspiration? You have inspiration? Oh, Oh, fuck, man. Come on. Okay, so 11. (laughs) Still, I rolled a one. Plus one, thanks. (laughs) (laughs) What'd you get? 12. Vutha's hiding. 37. 37? Yeah. You didn't roll. (laughs) I'll put you at the end. Okay. (laughs) Sheldor. You're up first. You've interrupted this dragon's meal. He is not happy with you. We're gonna fuck this dragon up! I go into a rage! (laughs) I shouldn't have let you rust. 30 to hit? No, it doesn't hit. Yeah, whatever. He froze the scales. (laughs) 23 points of damage. I'm gonna hit it again. 20 to hit! 21 points of damage. I need everyone to give me a con save. Oh, no. Is there a range on that? Um, 30 foot cone. I got a six. Does that count as a, a, an inspiration? Probably not. I thought it was on saving throws, too. Yes, it is. One. <laughs> One ability check. 22. 16. I got a six. Butha? 
You guys all came out of the... But I didn't go. He stayed back. He, he was ten feet away from you. <laughs> ten? Sheldor and Rumpy passed. You succeeded. So as he rears his head back, he gets ready to do his icy cold breath. I just look at Howie in, in the eyes. We have a special moment. What color is this dragon? I'm just going to watch him White. die. <laughs> and what this dragon spews? <laughs> As he's getting ready to spew, you hear the clickety-clack of a horse. Uh-oh. And up this hill runs Apeshia on this skeletal horse. And before he can unleash the dragon breath, Apeshia and the horse dive in front of it. Oh, she sacrifices herself for her first love, Howie. They are frozen solid. So anyone who succeeded did not get hurt. Anyone who failed, a couple of ice shards made it through. And you take nine points of cold damage. And your... Is that half or something? That is a lot. Basically, I have the rolls, and then I have what I came up with. So, I'll take my reaction. Okay. Nicely played. So, I guess, Howie, you take nine cold damage. And you see this gnome you guys have traveled with frozen in this heroic stop pose on top of this skeletal horse. And she is no more. And she falls to the ground and shatters into a million <laughs> ice shards. Nope, she's just sitting there, but she looks oh. cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and since Who's that? Tra- Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Howie. Oh, the horse. Oh, God, no. <laughs> You can chisel it chiseled out when they travel back to Phandalin. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. And eleven damage. And rapier number two. Ten to hit. No. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Does that mean you stop playing the bagpipes? Yeah. Okay. But they hear it for ten minutes, so. Rumpy. You're up. Alright. I do have a question. These, this illusion, how big can it be? Is it Welcome small? to the grand illusion. Harmless, illusory <laughs> visual effects within a 15-foot radius. They can include luminous musical notes, a spectral dancer, butterflies, snow. They have no substance or sound. It does not have a limit. This is the dumbest it's, magic item. It's got to be within 15 feet, though. All right. So You're within 10 feet. Yeah. Crit. I am effectively Dazzler right now. <laughs> nice! Do you have those that sexy spandex? Mine's red, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I don't have the, the skates, but... 22 points of damage. Are you done? Yes, because my first attack missed. I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. Are you done yet? Yeah. (laughs) I got a thing. Yeah. (laughs) What do you mean? I finished a long time ago. (laughs) It's just getting boring now. I've just been soft humping. (laughs) You didn't feel it go limp? (laughs) I don't feel anything. Didn't feel it go in either. <laughs> After a while, you just forget. <laughs> she had my thumb in there about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so everybody within 15 feet of me needs to make a constitution saving throw. Even your party? 15, yep. Oh, I got the 20. I got the 20. <laughs> You'll take 16. Okay. 21. 24. I got a 6. <laughs> You'll take 32. Everybody else takes 16. I am dead. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. I just love how nonchalantly you said that. And I'm dead. <laughs> and I'm dead. I'm negative two. Uh, also, you're, 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 you're mostly, mostly dead. dead. <laughs> okay. 
It's a good thing you weren't doing any damage. You know, five points. <laughs> no, he did. Six. Way to go, Howie! Five, five. At least you tried. I like yeah. sticking my sword in things. Sheldor, you're up. Phil McCracken's gonna be very upset when they head back without you. Seventeen to hit. Yes. When you try to revive me, you see that I have a one of those wristbands on for medical things, and it says uh, it does not respond well to mouth to mouth. Twenty nine uh, points of damage. I thought you were going to say do not resuscitate. <laughs> yeah, mouth to privates. Twelve probably doesn't hit. No. And for my bonus action, he said bone. bone. Give me a dex saving throw of fourteen. No. Beat him up. He's not very dexterous anymore. Six points of lightning damage. Nice. What's up, Rob? My storm aura. Nice. He's up. He's bleeding. He's pissed. Sheldor. (laughs) He's coming in with his bite. What big teeth you have. 19 to hit. All right, yeah. 11 piercing damage. Nice! That's only 6! Plus, 3 cold damage. Oh, nice! That's 1 cold damage. Nope, that's full Did point. I roll a 1? No, what? It should have been. What? No, I. My uh, my bad. Um, What was the cold damage? 3. 3. So he's I gonna. I just got really excited taking half damage. His claws coming at. Vutha. Vutha. Stop being psychic. Claw is... Five feet. You did not approach, so can't be you. Odds even. Sheldor! (laughs) Actually, Rumpy. Oh, snap! Did you approach to hit? Technically, no, because I'm a... Fucking Sheldor! (laughs) Fucking Sheldor, go ahead! That's a 20, baby. (laughs) Fuck yeah! <laughs> Listen, those two were the only ones that really got into ranged attack. I, I, I was ranged using my bow. That's my fault. That's. It's been a while since I rolled Oh, hey, by the way, your body, like, flew 10 feet. Yeah, it was, nice. it, that's awesome. It flew really far. 23 slashing damage. Fuck! Okay. What's half of 23? 12. 12. 12. 17. <laughs> 99. <laughs> and his other claw comes in for Sheldor. That is a 18 to hit. See? What well, shitty. Seven slashing. Howie, I need a death saving throw. Alright, here we go. That's a seven. Give me that <laughs> one one fail. <laughs> Rumpy, you're up. 24 to hit? Yes. <laughs> I like how he phrases it in the question. Yeah. Seven? seven? <laughs> That's what I rolled. It's a seven. <laughs> Psychic? Pluto came back to America. <laughs> Not a planet. There's 23 a points of damage. That. Tell me what it looks like and how you do the final blow to this campaign's BBG. <sighs> <laughs> Jacking off the dragon penis. <laughs> final we blow. Need for the film. BB hole. Why do we still have to kill by the freaking bodily holes? <laughs> it's like the Death Star. Make a new hole. Make- Be creative. All right. So I'm design gonna, I, I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to aim for the ear hole. And it pierces through, goes through the, the brain, and out the other. Uh, out the other ear hole. It barely even feels it. He it, got his head wrapped around that one. <laughs> it falls down so hard that on the way down a jagged piece of Apeshia's ice sculpture cuts into his throat. <laughs> and you guys did it! And I cast Shatter. Con save. On everybody who's awake. That's. Are we having a... PvP time. Get my uh, goddamn cast. 16. <laughs> you got 20 minutes. I <laughs> failed. Good roleplay to close, but okay, let's have a TPK by a player. 17 or 9? 17, 9. 
And that's electricity. What what was that doing? He what? just just to do it? Yeah, so do you wanna fucking hit him back? No, nah, it's alright. Does that include hitting Howie for another death failure? Well, I don't think that matters a whole lot. So how bloody does everybody look? <laughs> you got one knocked out. I don't know about them. Well, apparently I took my I took an ass kicking again, so I'm pretty bloody. Yeah, you really licked his ass. Matched his meat. Well, if I had let the cold breath hit you guys, it was 10d8 cold damage on a failed save. So, you do have potions, and Howie's butt is in the air. (laughs) So, how fucked up does everybody look? I'm not bad. Sounds like Sheldor got a little bit of a beating. Sacrifices for the sea bitch. I'm gonna take, you look absolutely I'm gonna, scheming right now. I'm going to take my Dragon Slayer sword in both of my hands. <laughs> what about you dropped your shield then? I never had a shield. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid to PvP anybody, but... I'm Why are we going to, PvP? Because so. that's how I would have ended it normally, with me being evil, killing you all and taking all the stuff. Mean, and I don't want to do that. Are we leaving Howie dead? Knocked out? Nah, he can come back to life. What? Shava, he's... I don't know. Can if make I make him roll again, he might... Well, one I'd last say... roll, right? Is it one? Two more. Oh, do it. 16. Okay. And a 12. What's two? Do you need one more? And 10. 10 succeeds, right? Or is it 11 and above? 11 and above. So I got two and two. Okay. There we go. Here we Bottom go. of the night. Two and two. Two and two. two. Ten. Now you died. <laughs> I could save him. Uh, Howie fights. I could save him. No, don't worry about it. He loves it. Howie is left laying there next to the frozen statue of Apeshia. Eh, I barely knew him. <laughs> Pants down, ass up. You guys leave it. You're leaving him there? We'll take a Pesia back with us. I'm gonna take my other She's sword. She's frozen not, solid. She's too heavy. Not the dragon sword. I'm gonna take my other sword and I'm gonna jam it in his ass. What'd I do to you? Why are you stabbing him in the asshole? I'm not. <laughs> As you guys travel back, three of you, if you're traveling together, are you? No. Is anybody traveling back? I am. I'll travel back. Sheldor and Rumpy, you come upon Phil McCracken, and his I eyes... I your shit, since nobody else said that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. His eyes light up as he sees you, and then his face drops, and he says, where's where's Howie? He died, my man. He what? sacrificed himself for the greater good. I knew he had a good heart. So, is he still up there? Yeah, he's still up there, ass in His ass, ass the is air. in the air if you want to take one more pounding. Might go to the Dragon Barrow for once. And he gallops off. Waving behind you. <laughs> Even in death, you're still able to please somebody. <laughs> and as he runs into the sunset, I think the sun will set on this campaign. That was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Peshia the Quick was played by Nikki. Sheldor the Tortle played by Kirk. Butha the Lizard Man played by Arn. Rumplemans the Half Elf played by Jason. Howie Fitz played by Nick. And the Dungeon Master was Shannon. For ways to contact us or to find out more information about our Patreon, check out the show notes. Please rate, subscribe, and share. Thanks for joining our merry band of assholes. Until next time. The sound effects and songs can be found on EpidemicSound.com and are used under the Creative Commons license. Also from Sirenscape. Check them out at Sirenscape.com. Some songs may have been edited from their original form. No, it's no, oh, I no. hate, no, no, I hate it when it goes it curves to yeah, the left. Just can't do a curved one. <laughs> Hits the wrong spots. <laughs> You might you might have what is that disease called? Peroni's disease? I don't even wanna know.
That or else you just broke your dick. You, you've never seen the commercials for Peroni's disease or Luckily, listen to podcasts no. that have the commercial? <laughs> no. What, what kind podcast of podcast are you listening, are you listening to? to? <laughs> Fuck, it's on like every goddamn podcast I listen to. And I listen to like like serious ones. I, I listen like, to like Star Audible, Wars one. Yeah. Purple mattresses. Never. Hey, is your dick broken? <laughs> Freshly, hang the wrong better way. help. You guys don't listen to any that enhance your mind. So. <laughs> no, I listen to a lot of garbage. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I like to go down. <laughs> because you can't get it up? I can get it up. You want to see? <laughs> no. It's Appar- it's Appar- apparently up. you couldn't the last dexterity check. <laughs> He hadn't popped his blue pill yet. You gotta you just watch my hands. Because if, if the, you can't see my hands, then I'm doing a dexterity check for myself. Stabbing you with my knife. Stabbing you with my knife. Like a shake weight.